In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove those pesky empty cells in your query formula in Google Sheets. Now, if you want to play along, and I encourage that you do, you can grab a copy of this data sheet in the link in the description below. Open it up and you will be good to go. Now, let's open up our first example. And you can see across the top here in this light orange that a formula will be displayed automatically for you once you put your formula in here as a reference. You'll see this in the other two examples that I have in a moment. Okay, let's dive in. So first, we'll show you what happens when things aren't just working out the way you want them to. So let's put in our query and select our range. So we'll just say, uh, say A1 through to D200, for example. And our range exceeds beyond that. So we'll have a bunch of empty cells down here to deal with. And then we'll put in our query. And all we want to do in our query is to select the range and sort it uh, by column A ascending. So let's say select, and I usually keep my commands inside my query in capital letters. So select, and we want to select everything. So we can use the shortcut all here for the asterisk. Select all, and then just say order by uh, column A ascending. Cool. And let's have a little look at what goes on now. We've got the title in, but now we've got a bunch of blank cells. If I scroll down, we will, however, see a starting spot here in uh, row 53, which is not very nice at all. And we want a solution to that. So how do we solve that problem? Okay, so let's just open up uh, this next example here and solve the problem. So we'll go up here and let's uh, up to cell F3 up into the formula bar and hit control A and control C to copy. And then we'll just tab over a bit until we get to K3 back into the formula bar and control V to paste. And now let's create our solution. And all we need to do here to solve this problem is just where select all, we put in a where statement where A is not null. That's it. So null means not empty. Let's hit tab. There it is. So now we've got everything going from uh, the first all the way through to the bottom to this point here. Now, if I type something in here, we won't get an error because there's nothing else in the, in the query. Cool. Okay. So for one final example here, we'll just close this one off here. What about if we want to just display the empty cells? So I've got a bunch of guides for my trips here. I've got all my guide leaders filled out, I can see, but I'm missing a couple of guides in my trips and we need to add to them. And I want to know which trips require guides. So I'm going to open up this last example here and we'll find these missing guides this time around. So let's create our query again. So we will do this from scratch. So query, and then we'll select our range. So A1 all the way down, we'll say 200 here again. And then we will start our query inside our double quotation marks. This will close off the query function here. And we want to, again, select all. And first we're going to say where, well, let's, let's actually try, try this first so you can see what the problem is. So we can say select all where D is null. And uh, do we want to sort? Yeah, why not? Order by, and we'll order by date again, so A. Cool. So we've got the same sort of problem that we had in our first example. So if we scroll down, we can see everything is still starting down here. Now we've got all our teams that don't have our guides in it, but we've got this big empty space issue. So how do you think you're going to solve that? Yeah, you've worked it out. Genius. So we can also say here where A is not null. And then we'll add in a and statement here and hit tab. Now we've only got those trips that are missing a guide and none of the empty spaces. Done. So now you know to use null or is not null when you are trying to get rid of empty spaces using the query formula in Google Sheets. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe. Until next time.